Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to practice adding materials. So if you go up here in the top pane, so these are our different options for viewing your molecule. You can collect here, you can see it in a wireframe. You can select here. This is the one that we look at normally. It renders the fastest, so it's easier to move things around. You can click on the viewport shading. This will um, give you different options in order to change materials. And then finally, you have this um, rendered display. So if you click on that, it'll show what the final render will look like. It'll take a second to render, but you'll see that it's not too interesting. And this is just using the materials that were assigned by Chimera X. And so materials really are probably the most important part of Blender. So trying to make your object look realistic. And um, you'll see how much the, the scene will change by just um, changing a few materials. So first, I'm going to change the material of the protein. We can select it. Now go down here to uh, the, different the different properties tabs, and you'll see this tab with um, a material on a sphere. So if you click on that tab, go to New, this will create a material for the um, protein cartoon structure. And you'll get all of these different options for materials that you can change. So I'm going to walk through some of them. First of all, you can change the color by clicking here. Pick any color you want for your protein. I'm just going to leave it white. You can add subsurface. Subsurface re refers to uh, um, how much light can pass through something. So think if you were to like, shine a light into your mouth, you would see the light reflecting through your cheeks. That's subsurface. Subsurface to one. Then the other thing is, um, I'm going to leave everything else the same, except for here, you'll see that there's a roughness. I think they look a little bit better if they're a little bit shiny. So from 0.5 to 0.2, decreasing the roughness. And you can see some of these highlights. And then the last thing is if you go down to the very bottom under settings, you'll have these options. Screen space refraction and subsurface translucency. It makes it so it glows just a tiny bit more. Now we'll zoom in. You'll see that our atoms colors are a little bit off. So if you click on one of those, you'll see that we also get a material for that. We'll leave subsurface off for atoms. Um, they come with this default metallic material. I don't really think carbon should be metallic, so I'll just change that to zero. Roughness is maxed out, which is why you get this dull color. So I'm going to change that to 0.2. And that's all that you need to do for that. Unless if you want to change the base color, you can make it a little bit darker by grabbing this, um, this part of the gradient and just moving it down to whatever you like. Now we can quickly change the other atoms. So this is our hydrogen. The only thing I'm going to change is metallic to zero. I'm going to scroll down to roughness, change that to 0.2, and we can leave it white. I'll click on my oxygen. I can change metallic to zero, roughness to 0.2. And then if you click on your base color, I'm just going to max out the saturation to give it that dark oxygen red. And then same thing with the nitrogen. So color, make it a dark blue, metallic to zero, and then the roughness to 0.2. We can zoom out. And you'll see that just changing the materials on one of the peptides changed it in all of them, which is nice. So I'll go ahead and save this. And this um, is everything that we need to do for manipulating materials. So that's the end of section three.